follow your text um, using the text path feature in Make the Cut. Um, so here we're going to get started. We're going to first, uh, I'm just going to double click something on my screen so that I know where this is going to come in. We'll go up here to the top where it says Import Basic Shapes from the Make the Cut Library. And it's under the Miscellaneous tab. And you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And you'll see this little swirl. You want to double click on that. And it's going to bring it onto your map. somewhere off of uh, over here just somewhere um, so that your, your text is going to come in right here your sentence and you'll just have to play around and see uh, how much text fills your spiral you might have to make your spiral bigger um, but you want to come over um, where it's your virtual mat is showing and, and click on text and fonts and then choose your font and then this second little T right here adds a group of characters you want to click that and I've already got my sentence make sure that auto split is checked because each letter needs to be individual for it to go around the path and then you just want to say add and while that is selected just click keep it magic selected um, and at this point what you need to do is with, you don't want to hold down any of your mouse keys and you want to push the CTRL which is your control button on your keyboard and you want to hold that down and while you're holding it down to left click on this text and drag it and then it depends on how far you have to drag it you can see that my cursor is changing from the crosshairs to the square the circle and the triangle and once it changes to that circle square and triangle you can let the control key and your mouse button go and what that's going to do is it's going to wrap that text around here now in this little um, warp objects to path you don't have to use the um, the space, what that'll do is it'll, is it'll make more space in between your letters, so you don't really need to do that, use that. And then the vertical alignment will just bring it, um, when you move that, it brings it up and down away from um, the, the um, swirl, and you really don't need to use that either. But what you do use is the offset. You, you drag that, um, and as you can see, I'm just going to drag it, and I'm just trying to take full use of my spiral to get that 320 on the end of my sentence as close to the end of that spiral as possible. And then once you've got it looking like you want it to look, um, then you just want to say uh, Excel. Now, before you, um, uh, what you have to do now is you have to, while that's still selected, because right now just your text is selected, once you said accept, then you want to go ahead and join uh, the letters. So you go down here to the bottom uh, where it the little two arrows are blue arrows are meeting in the middle, and that's join. So you can you can do that, or you can right click on Shape Magic, of course, and then come over here and say join. And mine's grayed out because I've already done it. So then once you've got your your that joined, uh, you really don't need your spiral anymore, and you can actually just push your delete key on your keyboard and get rid of that spiral. And then you can click this a couple more times till you get the crosshairs to where they rotate, and then you can just rotate your text uh, however how you want it and at this time you can still of course uh, make it smaller or make it larger uh, whatever you need so just play around with that and see um, how you like it it's a lot of fun and just sort of adjust the size of your spiral and 